What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hicker Scuba and Marina. Today's video discussion is we are going to show you how to calculate your RMV or otherwise known as your respiratory minute volume rate. Now this is kind of the next step and calculate how much air you may need on any given dive. And the first step was calculating our sac rate. There'll be a link in the description below taking you back to that video showing you how you can calculate what's called your surface air consumption rate. But now with the RMV, basically we are taking the PSI that we calculated from the sac rate and we want to convert that into cubic footage. There'll be another video in the future showing you how we can use that cubic footage that we come up with to help us determine what size tank or how long a tank will actually last at any given depth. So we're going to take our sac rate, convert it into cubic footage by simply doing our RMV. Now there's several variables we need to know, such as volume of gas, we need to know pressure of the tank, and we also need to know the sac rate. Now one of these numbers we're going to use from the previous video, which was 8.33 is a sac rate. And that is simply 8.33 PSI per minute is what our theoretical diver was using. Now for as far as volume of tank, you can use any size. We're just going to use a standard aluminum 80. So we know the volume is 80 cubic feet. And we know that the working pressure of that cylinder is 3,000 PSI. So with these three variables, it is very easy to calculate what his RMV rate, or how much cubic foot of air he is breathing per minute. We simply do the calculation within the parentheses first, and then multiply it by our sac rate. So we're going to take the volume of air, which is 80 cubic feet. We divide that out by 3,000, which comes up 0 0.0266. All I have to do is times it by the current sac rate, which is 8.33, and that gives me a cubic footage of 0.22. So this diver breathes up 0.22 cubic feet of air every minute. Now this, of course, is his surface consumption, if you will, or his RMV at the surface. We can use this to calculate how long a tank will last at any given depth and exactly how much air he will need for any dive for any depth. So guys, in a future video, we're going to show you how to calculate how long your tank will last at depth and also how much air you will need to take for any given dive. So stay tuned for that. I really appreciate you watching these videos. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, simply put it down in the comment section below. Check out the other links to some of our previous videos down there. And guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.